Hey guys. Welcome back to our channel and welcome to the first episode of a series that we're hoping to continue. Called The Hard Things. The hard Questions. The hard Stuff. The Hard Stuff. We haven't decided on a name, but The Hard Stuff sounds good and so does The Hard Things. Sounds hard. What are you talking about today? I... So I had a shout out on my Instagram stories asking you guys what it is that you wanted to hear. A lot of them were about gender roles in mm. marriages and gender roles in Arab society. And so we thought since that's something that we know quite well, we would discuss that first. Uh, Ahmed, I like the way that he puts things. So it should be a really good um, topic. So real quick on us, we've been married for six years now. Um, but in total, we've known each other for 10 to 11 years now. Mm -hmm. If you guys don't know the dynamics of our relationship, Ahmed is a mechanical engineer and works uh, for the government here in Kuwait. And then I am a blogger and a small business owner. So a lot of my job is traveling and it keeps me kind of on the go. This isn't something that had a manual we read from and studied before we went into it. It, yeah. it, it happened as we went along. Like we got married, Instagram came, social media, work, traveling, and we all took it as we were going along. We didn't know how to deal with any of this, especially the first year or the first and second year were the toughest. And I mean, very, very, very difficult on our relationship and especially yeah. on our marriage. Yeah, um, I agree. How we dealt with each other, how we deal with people the criticism that we hear from people, mm -hmm. what's normal, what's not, what's a man's role, what's a woman's role. We're here today because... We work hard at it. We work hard at it. Yeah, yeah exactly. We work hard at it. We address the problems. We communicate. And yeah, like, I mean, the other day, him and I had an argument where I don't think that... And it's not common for us to argue that way anymore. It was super common for us to argue that way mm -hmm. when we first got married. But now our arguments have lessened because we've learned that how to speak to each other. I mean, that's not to say that we don't have blow ups every mm -hmm. now and again. But I think we made a, we made a promise to ourselves because in back in the day, four or five years ago, when we used to argue, we used to have a blowout argument. Yelling. We used to argue and yell and then cuss at each other and just walk away. We had to communicate with each other and say, and, and actually sit down with each other and talk and, and, and decide that we cannot have arguments like that anymore because we're grown ups and we have kids. Jobs and lives. Jobs and, and this is not us, you know, this is not our personality. It's, it's kind of just the, the norm um, growing up as an Arab that women are, are, are meant to be more child rearing and in the home and have lunch prepared and, and do all of those things that is very like get a lot of shit for not completing those domestic responsibilities. And then the man really is typically like the breadwinner mm -hmm. or the, the one that's out working and, and it doesn't matter what time they come home, that they will never get shit from society mm -hmm. for having to travel for work or coming home late from work or not seeing the kids enough that day. They never get any of that. You can easily be manipulated by what people say, especially for me because I work in the government sector and for me, I don't, I don't feel emasculated at all, no, no. To find happiness in a relationship, I believe you have to find happiness within yourself first, yeah, yeah. you know? If, if, if you like what you're doing and you're comfortable with what you're doing and your partner is comfortable with what she's doing, you guys come together as a happy couple. Yeah. You can't enter a relationship expecting your partner to make yeah. you happy. Yeah. I think the, the, the thing that we always try and, and, and instill in people's minds, especially in, in us posting on social media, is that it took two people to make a child. So it's going to take two people to take care of a child. In our case, three, because we have an amazing uh, live-in nanny who is like a third parent mm -hmm. to our children and really really like it, it changes like the dynamic of things because you have another woman that's like part of our family unit but the majority of the responsibility still falls on him and I because she's there to help us and to supplement when our jobs get really tiring mm -hmm. or our jobs get really hard but still the majority falls on us you know there's no such thing as men paying the rent like uh, yeah. back in the day we used to split rent me and her yeah in the beginning in the end it's all the same you know, if your husband is the one that is the, the larger breadwinner and he's the one out working to bring money home, you are still as a woman supporting him at home, making sure that everything else functions to do that and vice versa. So when those gender roles switch, I don't feel like it's weird. You as a unit that want to succeed. Yeah. And in order for you guys to succeed, you guys have to come together. And do and, what and, you got to do. And do what you got to do. I mean equally, everything, yeah. kids, work. Erase the idea that one thing belongs to one gender. Yep. Don't allow people at your workspace or at the gym or anywhere tell you how to run a family or tell yeah. you how to be a man or tell you how to be a woman. Yeah. 
Don't because because it doesn't work. It doesn't work for anyone. It doesn't work for everyone. What is a man and what is a woman is so different from person to person, and what those what the roles of each of those people mean is so different from person to person. Some days I give the kids a shower. The other days she gives the kids a shower. Some days I put them to sleep. Other days she puts them to sleep. I give them like we do everything, everything exactly everything. So I think that's pretty much it. But to conclude, what I would say, uh, and something that Ahmed and I do quite frequently is we read a lot and we watch a lot of documentaries together um, on things that are sometimes uncomfortable. So we watch things on um, a lot of gendered ideas or a lot of like um, sexualized job roles or sexualized ideas of, of women and we try and like break those down within each other. We have those kinds of conversations. Mm -hmm. So those are the things that we actively are, are trying to do. And that's the only way to better a relationship, I think. Don't be afraid to say, I don't think I continue, can continue in this relationship if your thought process is something that you're not willing to work on with me. Mm. Don't be afraid of that. The goal, of course, is not to have to separate. The goal, of course, is not to have to end a relationship in a divorce. That's always going to be the goal because you should actively be working on it. It takes two people to really work hard on a relationship. But also don't be afraid to say things and lay down the line for yourself. I received tons of messages from women saying I'm in a really gendered, like, ster like stereotypical relationship where he expects me to do A, B, and C. Mm. And I don't want to always be doing A, B, and C by myself. Mm. So lay down the law. Say, Talk to him, sit down say with him. A, B, and C to mm. me are not just my roles, they are co roles that we should be doing. Exactly. And as a parent, I, if, as a husband. Yeah. If you are not willing to work on this with me, if you are not willing to change this with me, I don't know what to do with myself. This is not something that I'm interested in. Bring a third party in if you have to. Mm -hmm. Do therapy if you have to. Being happy with the role and just being happy with yourself and then be true. confident in knowing that what you're doing is not incorrect. It's not. No, you no, know. It's different. It's different than what society is. It's different than the status quo, but it's not incorrect. But it's not wrong. Yeah. That's not wrong. That was it for the first episode of the hard stuff, things, <laughs> tough thing, tough life. I don't know which what we're gonna call this yet. Good luck, guys. <laughs> Good luck. Work hard right. at it. Work hard time. at it. See you guys next time. Bye.